in this video I have one of the biggest tips that I will do all year long now if you are new to the channel I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below it's completely free to subscribe to the channel it also allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel now guys I just released a nickel 245 ebook probably about two weeks ago and if you haven't already picked it up yet um, it's available by joining our patreon so if you want to sign up for the patreon membership there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just ten dollars a month now the cool part about that is you're gonna get access to not only the 245 ebook which we're gonna talk about in just a second but you're also gonna get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks all 15 offenses and defenses that I've released up to this point any updates that we've done which we've done a lot of updates so we pretty much do an update probably every um, we do an update every week of some type and typically it's two to four times a week where we update something, whether it's a new coverage concept, a new blitzing concept, a new money route combination, a new running play, something that kind of keeps these guides fresh and keeps them timeless throughout the season. So you're always gonna have the most up-to-date version of whatever you're running. Now the other cool part about the Patreon membership is whenever we release new eBooks, you get those instantly. So by being a member, there's a lot of perks to it. If you've not signed up to be a member yet, it's only $10 a month. You can cancel whatever you'd like, but as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. Um, there's a link in the description if you wanna sign up for that. But I got uh, a kind of a little bit rushed for time this morning, so I wanna dive right into this. This is Bunch Tight End, and I am really, really excited to share this with you. I've kind of honestly stumbled upon this yesterday, this is why I watch so much film room um, analysis and, and things like that on the real NFL because it helps kind of inform me on the uh, Madden game. And I was watching a film breakdown of the Denver Broncos and they were basically running this coverage against the Dallas Cowboys back when they beat them earlier in the season. And what it is, it's actually called cover eight, but um, Madden calls it cover nine. And I'm gonna talk about why it's so good. It's actually primarily designed um, to simply be able to handle uh, three by one sets ironically. Uh, when, when you look at the play, you wouldn't think, well, that's a really good three by one coverage, but it actually is one of the best ones in the game. So um, anyways here, just gonna make some quick adjustments. I'm gonna set a couple audibles, but we're really not gonna need a ton of them. So I'm gonna go quarters, I'm gonna go six, I'm gonna go palms, and then we're actually gonna come out and cover nine. So cover six is what's also called, um, is what's also called quarter, quarter, half. Cover nine or cover eight is what's called half quarter quarter. And what you're gonna notice is they're basically inverses of each other. So a cover nine defense, what you'll see right here real quick, is it's it's half quarter quarter to the three by one side. If you notice that nickel corners in the yellow zone. So let's take a look at how this works against bunch tight end and why this is so dang good. So I'm just gonna move the ball back over here and I wanna first kind of identify the problem. The biggest issue is this, the biggest issue is this. Um, whenever you're playing match, so let's say you're playing, um, let's say you're playing cover six, okay? And you're playing quarter, quarter, half. One of the most popular coverages in the game. I think something that most people need to run more of. It's very good coverage, very safe coverage against three by one sets. But what I want to hit on real quick, one of the big vulnerabilities of this is this crossing route to the triangle receiver. So if they get out of the pocket, they can throw that crossing route. And as you can see, it gets open really, really well. The same thing is kind of true out of the gun bunch. If you think about it, bunch is going to run verticals. So they're going to run that crosser because that guy's in a deep half. He's never going to react to the ball. So it's kind of up to you to user the crosser. With cover nine, it's completely different. And again, it's called cover eight in the real, um, at least in most terminologies, as far as at least what Vic Fangio calls it. So what we're going to notice here is if I audible to, um, if, or I'm already in it, if I'm in cover nine, now I have half quarter quarter. This guy has a lot more freedom because of this deep half right here. And so what I like to do with this is actually simply kind of, it's a very good way to defend bunch sets, uh, whether it be bunch or bunch tight end. We're gonna actually take this guy right here and we're going to put him in an outside quarter zone. And then with this vertical hook, you can leave him in a vertical hook or you can put him in a curl flat, okay? That's, what, that's I, I leave him in a vertical hook unless they force me to put him in a, in a hard flat. Most of the time, um, again, generally speaking, if you just, especially against bunch, if you just made up the tight end, you don't have to worry too much about the flat. So with bunch tight end, it's a little bit different, but still kind of similar. 
much tight end you don't really have to worry about the flat anyway because the way they run it is typically boot over um, is, is kind of the primary uh, play they're going to go to. So anyways, let's see, show you how this works. What you're going to notice is now this inside quarter on the right side is going to receive this crosser, and he's going to play it pretty good. Um, you know, they're going to play the crossers pretty, pretty well. Again, we're just outside quarter in here. And then with this guy, you can put him in a curl flat or you can leave him in a vert hook. And what you're going to notice is, let me show you real quick, get out of the pocket. And you see how the quarter zones on the right kind of handle that crosser really, really well. They make it a harder, a much more difficult throw. Obviously, you're going to be in the area. You're going to be kind of ashamed with this. I played a guy that was running much tight end, ran this coverage 80 to 90% of the game and literally bagged the crap out of him. Now, um, another thing that I wanted to quickly hit hit on here is this uh, bomb concept. So this is one of the best bomb concepts um, in Madden 22. It's the slant um, and then the deep post behind it. This concept right here does a pretty decent job against it. So again, just put that outside quarter over there just to help. And what you'll see here is this deep post is not open. Right, I mean, he hits it, but the guy's right there. You know, you're going to click on, you're going to swap the ball. So this is a great way to defend bunch sets. I'll show it to you real quick. One of the things you can also do, let's say you're, um, let's say you're not in uh, nickel triple, or uh, not in a nickel two four five. You're in nickel triple, and you you don't have cover, uh, you don't have that coverage. Then just flip your cover six, and for the most part, this will play pretty much exactly the same. You see there, the vertical hook does a great job. That's why I like to leave him most of the time. Um, but you see that we're, we're really in the area on one of the best concepts in the game. And, and again, you know, sometimes being in the area is as good as you can do in Madden 22, uh, just the way defense plays this year. But the guys are in a really decent position. That's all I wanted to get at. And, again, you know, pass committing is, is important. It's going to make them play a little bit better. But what you'll see here, you see, even with the route running ability, there's guys right there, and you get the stop. So great little concept out of cover eight. Um, it's also called it's called cover nine and Madden, but try this out or just flip your cover six if you're running dollar easy to flip it triple easy to flip it so if you're two four five odd even easy to flip so I would really try out this defense I think it's gonna help you a lot thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to get the Patreon membership get all the ebooks where we really dive into this stuff there's a link in the description below where you can get that for just uh, ten dollars a month it unlocks everything and gets you access to all the stuff thanks for watching.